Right, it is late at night. <laughs> and Framer have, or Motion, which was always part of Framer, has kind of gone open source now, which is really, really interesting. And I thought it'd be really interesting also to take a look how we bring this into Webflow. Now, I'm going to do it in React first, just because the project is up and running in React, and I'm sure it's going to not take a lot of time at all. Now, I've got another episode on how to set up a VS Code environment, but let's just go through. This is the React installation, and I have open here my React project. Um, I'm going to npm install motion. And it looks like they've got some packages here so let's what could we do we've got our pokemon ticker haven't we this is if this this looks crazy to you then it's only a few lessons into the the react course but um i go through all of the react course and uh, it will make perfect sense but so we bring in motion in react so motion dot div so this obviously creates a div um okay so this creates a ul this looks good so it looks like uh list it looks like similar to styling, which we'll go over in another lesson, which I've just recorded today, actually. So, okay, so that probably animates the on the X to the left, this. Okay, you see that, you saw come in in two seconds. Okay, cool. Duration, two seconds. There we go, that's it. It's probably a little bounce, you can see it. Okay, cool. Quite a nice way to do it because to, to use React, uh, sorry, to use GSAP in React, it's you still write in JavaScript. There are like, there's a React library, um, React GSAP library that's pretty good, but it doesn't contain a lot of the, um, the, the Club Green Sock stuff, the bonus stuff. So this is cool. So we've got on hover, you've got on hover events while in view so it looks like this is a scroll okay cool that was cool so that's react stuff if if all of that was a bit confusing to you i do have a react course um that i just launched today actually this week so go check that out on my patreon but let's have a look at the javascript one it also import straight from a cdm without installation so this makes me think actually let's do it this way go on if we go to uh web float Let's go down here, and if we go script, uh, script type equals module. And this way we can do this. Uh, boxes, crew select for all. So boxes, so we're gonna get our element. Let's try and find uh, an element. Let's see that. What's this? Let's give this a class. Go hero heading. Get crew set to all. So we've got that. And then we're going to animate boxes. We don't need crew set to all there. We'll go hero heading. Then we're going to animate hero heading. Cool. So nothing's happening there. Oh, I'm just noticing this. You see that? That's cool. Maybe this is from and to. Let's let's do this. Let's do that one. Let's try that one. Okay. So it's just an array. Cool. Done. Path length. You got an unupdate function, which I think these are gonna be the interesting ones to play around with the scroll. It's the only scroll animation API. I don't care. Like what does it do? Tell me what it does guessing it's like scroll in view or like as you scroll the element or something like that and scrolls whereas this one will be like scrolling into view so let's just do this let's take in view and let's go to this link let's take logo Banner link. Hoping this will set them all. Um, stagger. So how do we stagger again? Okay, so it's another. Yeah, there it is. I want it to like 
uh, track the scroll as well. That would be sick. I mean, anyway, I mean, we're going through this now. Just looking through the documentation, seeing what stuff you can do. We've got it in Webflow. You know how to kind of import it now with the VS Code setup. You know how to get it into Web Webflow just kind of to play around with like this. There we go. Frame of motion inside of uh, Webflow.